Test, test. Can anyone hear me? Is the mic working? Ja. Danke, Philipp. Hat Hertha heute gespielt? Punkt ist ein Punkt. Ich weiß, es ist kein 3-1, aber ein Punkt ist ein Punkt. <lacht> Pokal ist wichtig. Ah, sorry. Äh, wenn, man, wenn man gegen äh, den Stadtrivalen im Pokal spielt, dann gewinnt man oder geht wenigstens mit drei roten Karten vom Platz runter. Dazwischen äh, darf es nichts geben. Easy win. <laughs> oh. Cool. Looks like we're uh, good in time. Nine, ten, eleven drivers are here. That should be anyone. So we can start just in time. For the first night stand. Spectate. As you can see, lights are bright. The night is pretty dark. And it's looking good. Arix Javi is driving. Uma is driving. I saw him already in the first stint. Eric's Bosworth. PPL Eddie. Oh boy, how do you pronounce that? Uh, V-Life? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. If anyone has a good suggestion. Mr. 19, I don't know. Top racer. Kevin. Uh, how did Confi said Bünzli? Probably butchering that. Deadline. Ouch! <sighs> Crash Tastic. And Vines. I think that's everyone. Tornado. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Game settings are set a bit differently than I used to have them. Uh, just because you can see, actually see, uh, there's a setting Gran Turismo that is adjustable uh, for the brightness. I turned that up, otherwise it would all be black and you couldn't see a thing. And I think that would hurt uh, the experience uh, quite a bit. So. It's a bit more 
brighter. Um, as you can see, the, the sky is has still a bit of uh, dark blue. It's not all black. Um, you can see a bit better. <laughs> I think the only problem is are uh, that the headlights are extremely right. Well, I, I, I think we can live with that. So if you haven't seen Sin 1 and 2, uh, in uh, Group 4, the lower class, uh, RRC is uh, really dominant, uh, winning both stints, doing fantastic work in uh, both races uh, so far. In Group 3, we had uh, die, Lusti die vier lustigen uh, fünf, the four funny uh, five dominating the first stint um, with three minutes and then in the second stint their driver heli power really unlucky uh, with i think one racing accident one really unfortunate incident which it seemed to me there was little uh, that this driver could do to avoid that and uh, after that mistakes on his own uh, uh, they lost a lot of time against uh, the other team that came in second place in the first stint and won the second stint, Arix, uh, which is formerly known as as uh, COC Racing. And the current situation is that Arix is still behind, but has closed the gap um, really strong. Oh, you clipped that. <laughs> yeah, I looked at it and I turned to the next guy and I thought, oh no, it's going to happen, isn't it? Yeah, ouch. <laughs> Heli. Was hast, was hast du nur gemacht? Ich hatte den, uh, den Unfall in der ersten Runde gesehen und ich dachte mir, okay, ja, Rennunfall unglücklich einfach nur blöd unglücklich gelaufen aber das äh, das zweite wo der vordermann den motorschaden hat und du von von hinten ankommst äh, sah ein bisschen komisch aus Martin, hello and thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoy this thing, this race. Looking good right now. Uh, stint is is formed, and uh, everyone is checking if it, it's all right. And then we can start in a couple of minutes' time. Ah ja, äh, Philipp, wenn du gerade zuhörst. Ich habe hier Stint 1 kommentiert, äh, in, in zwei, zwei, von zwei ein, ein Dreiviertel gemacht. Kannst du jetzt auch sagen, äh, das ist doch jetzt für mich äh, die sechste Stunde.
Wenn du die Zeit gönnen willst, äh, machen wir dann halt nur auf auf Englisch dann nachher. Ja. Just saying. Ich mache sicherlich nichts äh, aktiv für TikTok. Hi Tristan. Uh, RC Group 3 isn't particularly strong today, but in Group 4 they're really good. They won both races. And uh, good afternoon, I assume it's for you. It's 9 o'clock uh, in the evening here. But for you, it must be uh, midday. Ja, ich schicke dir dann äh, später eine Einladung, wenn das läuft.
I'm really sorry for missing that. Was a bit of confusion with BOP settings. One driver used the wrong settings. Uh, despite being that being transparent, what settings to use, and uh, that's the reason why we lost the, on the first minutes of the race. I'm sorry for that. Anyway. Eric is leading the race once more. Winsley, aka Kevin, in a safer position is pushing that Porsche through the night here on the green hell. Uh, we can go on board. Eric's Javi in third position, about two seconds behind this group. And you can see there's a lot of visual difference between the synth uh, with uh, the sun going down and distant being at night. The, high, the light parts are really bright and uh, almost blinding your eyes. And the rest is really dark, so it's not easy for the eye to adapt. Uh, especially if you follow a car close like this, the, the car uh, takes a lot of vision and it's not easy to see clear. And if the car touches the grass or something like that, the dust that comes up in the air is really um, hurting your vision into a corner. So definitely um, the most challenging stints. Bunsley is going for an overtake. Has more momentum, bit of slipstream. And you can see, yeah, he's just managed to do this, but he's losing out a bit. Apparently the Porsche uses slipstream to its advantage, but Bunsley just edges in front.
and gets back the lead. So Bunsley just ahead from the first Eric driver Bursworth. Eric's Javi in third position. Here comes Omar from uh, PPL. Next row is V Life. Nice to see the brake this are really glowing hot. Strong start for PPL Eddie. It's leading the group of the um, group four cars. By a lot actually. And we have the first rider who's maybe going... No, it's not going into pit. Looked like this for a moment. The group 4, Eric's deadline. And we have Cretastic. And yes, we, have, we do have one driver who's pitting. Ronaldo with heavy damage. Back to the leading group. So I had to fix something uh, in, in the Discord. In the meantime, Bunsley managed to get away from Bosworth quite comfortably, three and a half seconds. Then we have the second Eric driver, Javi in third position, six seconds behind his uh, his Bunsley. Hi Tosayev, grüß dich. Äh, kurze Antwort ist, ähm, wir haben nicht die Leute zusammenbekommen. Bei manchen steht das Leben im Weg. Äh, Adi hat zum Beispiel Nachwuchs bekommen. Wenn du den nochmal schreibst, kannst du den ja nochmal gratulieren. Und äh, einige waren krank und hat einfach nicht gepasst, leider. Grundsätzlich sind wir dabei. Irma in fourth place. 
has uh, V-Life behind him. PayPal and uh, BN Racing were really close and uh, we're battling uh, for the fourth place. The last lap of the second stint. And uh, yet again, uh, in stint three, they continue like they ended the last stint. In group four, PayPal is leading strong for almost five seconds ahead of Top Racer. RC won stint one and two and now facing a bigger challenge with Eddie, apparently. Ja, echt schade, weil Nordschleife wäre ich echt gern gefahren. Ich bin, wohne nicht allzu weit weg davon, eine Stunde. Ja, man, man geht häufig zum, zum Regen, Heimatstrecke, aber was nicht ist, ist halt nicht. So ist mal eine Frage an den Chat. Lohnt es sich eigentlich auf Englisch zu kommentieren oder sind wir so nur Deutschsprachige unterwegs? Tornado. After this early pit stop. Already two, two minutes behind. That's, that hurts. Let's see uh, RSC. Group 3. Um, Mercedes. So. This car has better pace and in the hands of the right driver is able to to make up some positions soon. Yeah. I'm happy that my English is uh, is acceptable. Äh, zu sehr Brasilien wie äh, Sao Paulo hier in GT. Gruppe 4. Ähm ich bin mir nicht sicher. Wir haben äh, vor einiger Zeit schon beschlossen, dass das letzte Rennen, das letzte Rennen, was wir bei Gran Turismo Sport fahren, abgestimmt wird. Äh, wir hatten eine kleine Auswahl an Strecken schon äh, ausgewählt. Ich weiß nicht mehr genau welche. Und dann haben wir gesagt, äh, wir stellen Strecken zur Auswahl. Uh, alle Leute können, können abstimmen und uh, dann, dann können die Leute entscheiden, was sie fahren wollen zum Abschluss. Und das gilt einmal für die Strecke und auch für die Autos. Und dann, uh, dann kann man nochmal was anderes fahren. Also ich weiß nicht, ob du im Server drauf bist ähm, oder nicht, sonst hopp nochmal drauf. Und dann kannst du ja sagen, ich möchte das und das fahren und kannst dafür abstimmen. Kevin is flying. Kevin is doing 8 minute 4 8. Um, I'm not quite sure, but that's a quick lap time. Uh, maybe the quickest we had so far. I think Kelly uh, did an 8.05, a low 8.05. And uh, Kevin, uh, uh, Holly, was doing an 8.04 uh, in the first stint. But it's an impressive start from Kevin, 8 seconds in the lead, 8 minute 12 is not a bad lap time by any means, but that's strong, that's really strong. Showing that the team really wants uh, to manifest their first position after they lost a lot of ground in the second stint. Bit of onboard here we've been racing. Just wonder um, what what strategy from Alex is going to be. It used to be uh, five laps. Um, I'm not sure if this is the best uh, strategy uh, for the shortened uh, second stint. It definitely was because it meant that they were able to do two stopper instead of a three stopper. But here over stint of three hours, I'm not that sure. Kevin is definitely doing a good job 
when he's just keeping it on the black stuff and going quick. Let's see what Group 4 is doing. Eddie still in the lead, extending the lead ahead of Top Racer. Top Racer, um, one of the quickest guys uh, from RSC, doesn't look like he's won with the car yet. 8.56 uh, is not particularly strong lap time. I think he can improve quite a bit. And here we have Deadline and Crash Tastic. And I wonder uh, how many flashlights do we see? How many blinking, changing uh, blinkers and just stuff that's going to irritate another driver. It, it's not particularly a sportsman chip like, but it's not really forbidden as well, so. Let's see. If we take a look at the map, it's quite interesting to see where the Group 4 cars are and where the Group 3 cars are after a bit more than two laps. A huge difference on the map already. Small mistake from uh, that line. And he managed to get his line back. And Tornado, I don't know, it's well off pace uh, in the second lap. You should find, yeah, 20 seconds. Nissan, ahead of Porsche, ahead of Porsche. Okay. 20 seconds is already the gap for Javi, and as you can see, Javi has damage. Front and a rear bumper, and both tires on the right side, so that's a heavy damage that's going to cost him probably uh, maybe 10 seconds a lap. That's quite a lot, so uh, we will probably see the first pit stop from the top three at the end of this lap, um, quite early. Läuft die Pfeife. Seid ihr wieder am Blubbern? Oder Shisha? Ja, gönnt euch. Sei ich ja gegönnt. And Ömer lost position to uh, v -Life. Not sure if there was contact or uh, if it was a mistake. Oh my god, you can't see anything. Um, as you can see, rear and uh, right rear tire. If we look at the sector times right now, you can you can see there's no big changes. So maybe there was just a mistake from Eddie, uh, from Ömer. We're now riding with Eddie. Hi Vanessa. Top Racer. Es läuft nicht bei ihm. Ja, schon wieder eine Korrektur gehabt. 
vorne fliegt Eddie davon, sind schon 15 Sekunden. Deadline in äh, P8. Äh, nicht weit weg. Äh, hi Vanessa. Ähm, ich war gerade einen Moment überlegen. Ähm, dein Teamkollege hatte die falschen BOP-Einstellungen. Ähm, 50 bis 100 PS äh, mehr Leistung und 200-300 Kilo ähm, zu, zu wenig Gewicht rein und deswegen musste er sofort aus der Lobby raus, weil er das falsche BOP hatte. Ähm, ich hatte im Discord nochmal den Strafenkatalog verlinkt, wo, wo steht, was passiert. Ähm, ich bin, ich habe es jetzt auch nicht mehr nachgelesen äh, und ich bin auch nicht, ich weiß es jetzt nicht auswendig, äh, was genau das Strafmaß war. Und äh, selbst wenn es jetzt Disqualifikation äh, sein sollte, dass das da drin steht, dann können wir sicherlich nochmal darüber reden, weil das das allererste Mal ist, äh, dass ihr dabei seid. Ansonsten, ähm, am ehesten vom Orga-Team kriegst du jetzt den Confi-User erreicht. Also wenn du in Discord at äh, Orga-Team oder... Add conf äh, den Confi-User anschreibst. Ja, das ist blöd, dass du nicht in Discord bist. Dann kriegst du auch die Infos dann gar nicht. Ah, Jackal, ich brauche gar nichts sagen. Danke. So. Javi. First to pit from top 3. Force pit stop after he got damage. Alter, im Moderatorenrang, da brauche ich erst eine Schulung dafür, um das wieder ein, äh, zu wissen. <lacht> ich guck mal, kriegen wir wieder hin, ja? Ich muss noch echt mal gucken. Ömer already passed in fourth position. And in P6 we have Eddie uh, in Group 4. So... Obviously, uh, a lot, lot behind. Uh, Jackal, könntest du kurz? Danke. Dann uh, können wir das schnellstmöglich klären. Uh, hi, Monsterkiste. BOP ist grundsätzlich an und kann nicht verändert werden. Aber wir fahren hier ein Multiklass-Rennen. Das heißt, wir haben die Gruppe 3 und eine andere Klasse, die Gruppe 4. Und das heißt, es ist nicht mehr möglich vom Spiel, das BOP einzustellen, ähm, weil, weil es zwei Gruppen gibt, zwei verschiedene Klassen zugelassen sind. Und das heißt, äh, es, gibt, äh, es wurde vorher vorgegeben, äh, die Autos müssen nach BOP eingestellt werden. Hier ist sogar nochmal die Liste nach diesen Einstellungen. Und äh, das wurde halt nicht gemacht. Es war nicht äh, sogar nur so, dass, dass die BOP-Einstellungen auf 100, 100 waren, auf die Standardeinstellungen, sondern dass offensichtlich getuned wurde in übertriebenem Maße. Und das ist ein Vorteil und ne, das kann man natürlich nicht, äh, nicht so stehen lassen. Okay, fourth lap. This is probably uh, the make or break. Yeah, if we look at fuel, it looks like uh, Arix is going for a five lap stint. So one more lap after this. And Winsley, Kevin, I think he's going uh, to pit at the end of this lap, uh, giving his fuel a bit lower uh, than uh, Bosworth. Another good lap time, a bit slower, but an 8 minutes 06 is still a good lap time. Mm. 
almost 20 seconds and he should come out ahead uh, of uh, BN Racing here uh, live 19 small mistake and that's important because uh, no matter what uh, what this driver is doing uh, Brinsley has a uh, free track ahead of him and can use his uh, fresh rubber to post a good lap time um, Confi fährt den äh, Supra Gruppe 4 Supra ich weiß nicht ob die Einstellungen gleich ähnlich oder anders sind äh, wenn du auf dem Discord bist äh, in dem GT Registration Kanal stehen alle Autos die zugelassen sind mit den Daten mit äh, PS und Kilogramm sowie mit den Prozentwerten da einfach nur nochmal abgleichen und du bist auf der sicheren Seite Ja, Nuschel, da stimme ich dir auch zu. Das war schon im September bekannt gegeben worden, die Liste. Übrigens, äh, super Rennen gefahren. Habe ich BMW gesagt? Sorry, my bad. Helly wäre mal besser 3 gewesen. <lacht> ja, aber... Die Rundenzeiten, die ich gesehen habe, die waren äh, lange sehr gut. Ja, und es ist einfach echt anstrengend, drei Stunden die Konzentration nur zu halten. Ich muss sagen, ich bin aber schon wieder verwundert, dass wir schon wieder eine halbe Stunde geschafft haben. Gehen wir nochmal durchs Feld. Tornado hat die Lücke nun endlich geschlossen, hat Crash Tastic vor sich. Und sollte dann auch spätestens auf der Döttinger Höhe dann auch vorbeigehen an den Gruppe 4. Deadline auf Rang 8. <lacht> ja, Nuschel, ich muss mal Top Racer in die Pflicht nehmen, der muss jetzt mal äh, einen Gang höher schalten, endlich mal Turbo drücken. Nachdem ihr äh, so gut gefahren seid, kommt, kommt der gute Top noch nicht so wirklich in Gang. Ähm, die erste Szene, was war das, die erste Runde glaube ich sogar, fand ich war ein bisschen unglücklich äh, sah aber nach Rennunfall aus ich habe aber auch das gerade nur so gesehen und das zweite wo der Motorschaden äh, vor dir war und du äh, von hinten angeflogen kamst fand ich komisch Na, ich bin mir nicht sicher ob da noch eine Bewegung war in eine Richtung äh, ob das ein gut gemeintes Vorbeilassen oder vielleicht auch na, was anderes war Ich fand es war ein bisschen merkwürdig.
it is doing a really good job. 8.48, I think. Uh, the best lap times were 48 low, 47 highs. So he's already on a good pace, and that's in these dark conditions. Ah, Nuschel, das hast du gar nicht äh, mitbekommen. Ähm, Konfi hatte mich gefragt, welche Autos mir am besten fahren. Und am besten äh, finde ich den Mercedes von euch, den Gruppe 3. Leider nicht sehr schnell, aber sieht schön aus. Äh, wie gesagt, ich habe es nur ganz kurz sehen können, äh, Helly. Und... Äh, für mich sah, sah es so aus, dass, dass er da die Nase reinsteckt und er war auch so halb auf deine Höhe und es war ein Manöver, das hätte auch nie klappen können und ich weiß nicht, ob auch da drauf spekuliert wurde, wie es dann passiert ist, aber äh, er war halt da und äh, nachdem er da äh, den Rüssel reinhält, äh, kann er sich dann auch nicht mal in Luft auflösen. Auf der anderen Seite verstehe ich auch ganz klar, dass du sagst, okay, das ist meine Kurve und das ist auch eine Kurvenstelle, Passage, wo nur ein Auto durchgeht. Weißt du, wie im Fußball, wenn der Stürmer eigentlich sieht, der Ball ist weg, aber der Verteidiger hat ein Bein hingehalten und er nimmt das Bein dankend an, um einen Elfmeter zu kriegen. Bünsley just pitted, now in second place, as we're riding with uh, Eric Bosworth, who's going for the five lap stint, and I think Bünsley is able to close the gap at the end of the lap by uh, to maybe three, four seconds. Great difference is obviously in tires. We can see the Porsche has somewhat even tire wear, which is good, but all four tires are pretty much worn. Uh, Winsley's tire is much more fresher, and this will help him close the gap. Yeah. Ihr seid immer noch in Führung, Heli. Abhaken, blöd gelaufen. Du fährst sicherlich noch mal. Und dann machst du es besser. I guess it's onboard time again. Bünsley 9.3 seconds behind. And at the moment, we can't see Bosworth. I guess that will look slightly different in, what, two, three minutes? Uh, deadline, Packer. One, one second. Wait, he, he, he's in the box. Uh, has front damage, but it seemed it was scheduled pit stop, uh, as he had no fuel left. He's in last position, but crash testic is only 10 seconds ahead, and in front of that is Tornado. Not far from him as well, 20 seconds. Bunsley less than 7 seconds, then we have 40 seconds from uh, Brinsley to Javi, which is impressive because uh, this is after one pit stop each. 
Bunsley had one pit stop and uh, Javi had a uh, pit stop. Okay, good Vanessa. I hope uh, Confi could help uh, quick and easy. I, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware uh, how exactly the rule was laid out. Yeah, and uh, on the one side, a bit unnecessary because the information was there for multiple months. Yeah, I hope. This is the one and only time and everything is clear now and we can move on. Five seconds to Bosworth. And racing. In fourth position. They have stopped and are not that far off uh, from Javi in third position, so maybe they can close the gap. Looking good uh, behind, uh, 20 seconds to Omar after he had a mistake. A bit outbreaked himself here. In, in the first one, he had a mistake here and was in that wall on the left hand side just before Carousel. And Eddie's doing a great job leading the pack of his class and uh, 32 seconds ahead of Top Racer. And let's compare here. That line holds the pace at the moment. And Tornado, 13 seconds. I think the pace is even between those three at the moment. Yeah, and what did I say? Winsley is completely uh, behind Bosworth at the moment. The gap has come down to less than two seconds. <laughs> Chris is a pleb sometimes. <laughs> this is the best excuse I've heard. Sorry, why? How did? It, how could this happen? Why? Why? Why did you do that? He's a pleb. He's just a pleb. <laughs> Don't mind him, he's just a pleb. <laughs> really strong driving from uh, Kevin so far. Bosworth into the pit lane and Bunsley again back in the lead. And Bosworth will come out ahead of Javi. And uh, Inara's lost some time apparently. Yeah, have a nice sleep, recover, and uh, yeah, good luck for Stand 4, I guess. Gap is 32 seconds. We can ride on board a bit. If we look at the lap times, um, the second lap wasn't too bad. Uh, lap three and four are slower, but I guess more consistent. Oh, oh. It was a lot of curb. And he's a second ahead of that, of his personal best, so. 55 maybe even 54 maybe top has found his rhythm <laughs> give him a call reach him somehow and tell him he to push the throttle properly Yeah, if you look, uh, he has, I don't know, 30% left. Eddie, on the other hand, has 
less than five left. So if Top Racer would like to do that, I think he could go for even one more lap. His tires are even in a better condition as well. He could go for six laps. Oh, Deadline has damage. Difficult to see when it happened. But engine damage is always the most costly uh, type of damage. And the gap to Crash Tastic, it was about 10 15 seconds, it's now a three quarter of a minute. Yeah, unfortunately, I put him way behind. Irma losing a bit of ground to uh, V-Life in 4th position. Not that much, a second here is, or 2 seconds. But it adds up every lap, um, he's a bit behind so little they can do. And here we have change of position, Javi takes 2nd position. Because Bosworth has damage. Not not critical damage, it's light damage, but that hurts because uh, this this will cost him depends where he got it, but maybe uh, five to eight seconds from this point onwards. And it was just uh, after he pitted. This is his out lap, so there are two options basically for him. Either uh, he lives with the damage and he's losing. On four laps, ten or more seconds, or he goes into the pits right now again and loses uh, 40 seconds this way. Um, it's a lose-lose situation, really. There's nothing, no positive side of that, and this is extremely frustrating for them because they're fighting for the overall lead of this event. bit of onboard. Yeah, you can see the car doesn't turn in the way he likes. He's fighting. If you have a question about race or want to see something specific like a specific driver or a certain uh, uh, setting, we could go here into a uh, time unit, lap chart, things like that. Let me know in the comments. This race uh, settles itself a bit down at the moment. Bosworth uh, is losing a bit of bit of time. Death line <laughs> has time, has at least time uh, when he's in a pit to write in chat. <laughs> I'm taking else. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not sure if, if you're still hearing um, stream right now as you're driving, but don't take it too hard. Relax. Maybe you're a few seconds slower lap, but that's okay. Find your rhythm and uh, start from there. Don't 
over push yourself. Bunsley with a time penalty of three seconds. Bit unusual, maybe uh, in the area of Flansgarden, he missed the corner and had to cut one. Time penalty have to be burned on this straight on the Dottinger before. This bridge you see right there, and Winsley does this exactly how it's, how it's supposed to be done. Definitely losing uh, three, four seconds, but. That's how it is. Can compare, the gap is almost 50 seconds and now's the time when uh, Winsley is taking his penalty is losing time and from almost 50 the gap goes down to 57 56 seconds so yeah three four seconds uh, about that but the gap is quite big I mean we look here Javi leaving the Nordschleife entering the Grand Prix track is now on a start finish track, crossing the start finish line and Bunsley is past Dunlop uh, Kehre and is driving through Michael Schumacher S Bosworth finally reached the pit lane took him a long time, it was a long lap with this damage and he's losing a track position to uh, V-Life for the BNR team no he's not because uh, he, he's got an engine damage as well Irma is closing in on him heavily into the pits now Busworth is accelerating and he should come out ahead of Irma who is now on the start finish straight at, but at the beginning of the, the straight Bosworth through uh, the Castrol S and Irma just entering it so the gap is about 10 seconds Bosworth should have um, better pace so should get away from um, but he has to watch out another mistake and he could lose two two positions and uh, fall down uh, into fifth place top racer now in the lead of the group because he hasn't pitted yet we uh, go on board with Eddie who was leading group four basically uh, all the time but now is in second position in class because he pitted and uh, is going to take that lead back this way or the other way um, two and a half seconds that that's a bit uh, much uh, to gain in this lap to make an overtake happen but top racer has to pitch anyways and I'm pretty sure pretty sure that Eddie is aware of that and uh, is not going to risk too much. Uh, he's aware of the lap times he's doing, he's aware of the lap times Top Racer is doing and that he's going to extend the gap lap after lap and uh, the only reason Top Racer is ahead of him is because of pit stops. So there's no need uh, to rush to risk anything. But uh, initially, if you're still in chat and haven't got sleep yet, 
Uh, last lap was a uh, 8 minute 56.2 from Top Racer, so that's really close to his personal best. So it's on a good way. No way. Top racer is going even one more lap and it's going for a seven lap stint. We will be here in about nine minutes. That means that Top Racer has done more than one hour with the same set of tires and the same set of fuel. Well, set of fuel with the same. Uh, uh, amount of fuel. I don't know. You get you get the point. Yeah, that means um, what was said uh, two minutes ago was such rubbish. And Eddie either has to overtake uh, Top Racer now on track, or has to wait even <laughs> even uh, more time, one more lap. Ellie's favorite curbs. Uh, he was a lot quicker the previous laps, but this lap he's, he's not getting anything really. Seems like Top Racer is strong on the Grand Prix circuit, but has done a mistake. Luckily, he didn't hit the barriers there. But that mistake cost him the position. That's unfortunate. A tornado. Still in 8th position. At least... Uh, new personal best lap time but I'm afraid it's still not good enough he has, uh, I have to repeat myself to find at least 20 seconds a lap crash testic in uh, ninth position deadline after last lap, he had an error free lap, and I'm sorry for whatever reason the game freaks out. Let's try again. And we see uh, Javi. No time penalty. 8 minutes 10, 11, and 12, so the tire wear uh, is kicking in and uh, producing higher lap times. Meantime, Winsley, the 803 was an outlap, and then 809, and he's close, yeah, about 805, he's flying again and increasing that by at least um, 5 seconds again. Yeah, no sure he really is. I don't know how and why, but he is. 8 of 5. And that has probably uh, bring us uh, to a gap of uh, one minute after one hour. That's the pace uh, Bunsley is uh, giving. Especially now that uh, Yavi has to slow down because uh, of, the, of his time penalty. And Bosworth had another 
moment here. Mm. Didn't wa was that bad. What we saw, he was basically standing on track for a moment. And has damage on the uh, front right and uh, front bumper. I'm not sure. He could pit or... The other option would be to stay out for three more laps. Not, not the best scenario. He's losing a lot of time, obviously, to the uh, due to the uh, damage, and this brings Uma into position to get a podium spot uh, for the stint. Let's see. Yeah, pit lane it is, and PPL in the top three now. Uh, we'll hang a little bit more here on group three and see where Bosworth is coming out on track again. If he's losing one more position or uh, if he emerges ahead of, out of uh, B Live. I think he's going to lose one more position. He's finally uh, standing. Oh, was a quick stop. Where is V Live? It's close, but. Bosworth is ahead by two three seconds. Okay, let's look what group four is doing. Eddie oh, I'm sorry about that, I can't influence that. Is uh, way ahead sorry. And we try again. Uh top racer still has not pitted yet. Yes, we're racing for one hour and Top Racer hasn't pitted yet. Seven or eight seconds behind Eddie, second in class at the moment. And apparently a tornado has to pit as well. Small damage at front. And we have P9 crash testic. And deadline after uh, he was writing chat is taking the L's. Not doing a mistake, has a time penalty, but uh, car is intact and uh, not doing any mistakes so far. So good to see that. After one hour, I think Winsley is going to lap uh, the first back marker maybe at the end of this lap or at the beginning of the next lap. Well, the, the gap uh, over Javi is above a minute. <laughs> I was close. Yeah, we see uh, it's driving really on the limit. And finally, top racer pitted. It's been 80. Four years. Well, one hour and three minutes, but okay. Tornado as well 
in the pit lane. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Eddie, finally with a with the gap, he uh, used that before his pit pit stop. Funny, funnily enough, it's not too far off until Eddie has to pit again. Uh, this long top racer was out on track. Top racer and tornado back information, and we have crash test tech and deadline holding on. Uh, deadline, if if you still can hear me, maybe you want to change your brake bias a bit more to the rear, as you are hurting your fronts a lot more. Uh, this way you could get more even degradation of your tires. Could maybe help you in uh, the 4th, 5th, maybe even 6th lap of your uh, stint. Uh, top racer just pitted Nuschel. He was uh, ahead um, and into the 7th lap. He did small mistake. Okay, I was worried for a second, but he just let uh, Tornado go in the group three. Um, and now the gap is uh, what? 50, 50 seconds, but uh, yeah, he just pitted. Obviously he lost 45 seconds, 40, 45 seconds. So uh, that's the reason why the gap is that big. And we have Winsley in a pit lane again. in the pit lane and here we have Javi at the end of Döttinger Höhe. Ömer doing a, a good job. Nothing uh, spectacular. Lap times are okay and uh, just staying on track, not doing anything crazy. Javi in the pits again. Um, now strangely in sync with uh, Bunsley. After, yeah, Javi had to pit really early and third lap. So it was another five laps, but a uh, bit of sync to his original plan. Pitting, he's going for one more lap. I uh, should be close with uh, uh, Javi, and it somewhat is seven, eight seconds. Going strong. Bosworth. I'm 
curious. Uh, his last lap was an uh, 8 minute 9. And Omo an 8 minute 20. Not the best lap. But uh, so... Uh, Bosworth is gaining about 10 seconds a lap. So he should be really close to Omo at the end of this lap. Maybe could catch him and overtake him on uh, Döttinger Höhe. Be live in the pits. At the moment, uh, really set for this fifth place. And in Group Four, Eddie is doing a fantastic job. Fifty seconds ahead of the competition. Let's drive on board. In this part, I really like. I said it, I guess, in the second and in the first, then. I really like this part of the track. Many different uh, corners, it goes downhill, it goes uphill, you have to take the curbs. It's fluid and, and quick, really enjoyable to drive. Brunchen, really downhill, you can attack uh, the track, but you have to be careful as well. For example here, the famous YouTube corner. As for some reason, the camera changes on its own again. I don't know what causes this. I'm loading that controller. I don't know if this has anything to do with this. I will change that. Apparently Tornado with a decent lap and increasing the gap to top racer. I, I really hope he finds his feet and uh, is improving. Top racer. As you can see, uh, neutral P8 and uh, I don't think uh, it's, there's a chance really uh, to catch Caddy, uh, Eddie, out of um, own strength, I think something has happened to, to Eddie that this is possible. At the moment, he's losing multiple seconds a lap. Let's see. It says that the in lap he did was the quickest lap. So if you can can continue, maybe he can come even and uh, close the gap and build from this uh, for a second possible stint he's driving. Ah, uh, I have a feeling that we're here from deadline in a minute. He did uh, one to two and a half laps, but unfortunately uh, now he has to go to, to the pits as well after he has damaged front bumper and both uh, tires. Yeah. Let's see. Bunsley flying away. What's Javi doing? 8 minute 18, that was on very worn uh, tires. The 9 minute lap time was uh, a lap where he went into the pits. But 
Even the 8 minutes 12, 11 are not quick enough. It, those are respectable good lap times, don't get me wrong. But it's not quite enough at the moment. And uh, Omar losing... Losing a lot of ground. It's his in lap. So naturally uh, his tires aren't in the best condition. And I think it's good to follow uh, Bosworth on board as he has uh, a chance for an overtake at the end of this lap. Personal best so far, so he's on the way to a sub 8.12, maybe an 8.11. Brünchen really like this corner, double apex, you have to stay on the inside which becomes the outside for uh, the next corner and it's really downhill, it's incredible uh, how how steep that corner is, how, uh, how much it goes down. And uh, through Flanskarten, I'm both a bit out of uh, shape here and not really hitting the racing line perfectly. Continuing with this good pace. I felt like that Bosworth wanted to take a lot more speed into that corner than uh, Omar is capable of right now. Omar went a bit wide and you see absolutely nothing <laughs> if you look behind. Yeah, small mistake and you, you can hear uh, it wasn't easily flat. I uh, had, had to wait a bit and... But most importantly he's still in the famous Zack zone. Um, Omar is getting a slipstream here pushing himself forward and goes back into third position temporarily of course as he is going to pit in a couple of meters and yeah uh, that was a bit offline it didn't hurt his race to re-overtake and uh, yeah, uh, cost Bosworth maybe half a second, second, and you don't know what's what's good for, but it's definitely helping you if you don't lose time and your opponents do lose a bit of time. Let's see what's going on in Group Four. Deadline uh, went to the pit. He's getting blue flags. I'm pretty sure that uh, Buinsley already passed, so maybe this is uh, Javi or Bosworth behind. It looked like uh, one of the Porsches, so it's either P2 or P3. I'm looking at the map. I'm not quite sure where's. Bunsley right now. I want to check. Wow. This this red dot that's second place and Bunsley is here. It's incredible. Javi got past that line. Fantastic. Two minutes ahead of deadline is something positive. Being a minute behind top racer, not so much positive. Top racer, let's see what, what, what he's doing. 8.58 was the last time. Not quite where he wants to be. Tornadoes ahead of him. 38 is marked as the best time. The 9.29 was uh, his, 
is uh, in lab when you pit it in the A37 out lab. And um, it appears he has to stop once more as he has slight damage at front again. So Eddie, 30. Eddie is about a minute, maybe a minute five, minute ten ahead of top race at the moment. So after two very strong uh, stints from RC in group four, they have to take a step back here and, uh, and focus re again. Um, I'm not sure who's taking over. I think it's the, the one. One driver I can't pronounce right for the life of me. Yeah, exactly that driver. I will not pronounce it wrongly, so I will not pronounce it at all. That's uh, that's my take on that. Lautschrift. <laughs> okay, are you ready? You ready? Shishi man. Clip that and mock me. Oh boy. I'm sorry, but your first message, I, I read that in, in the Daniel Ricciardo uh, voice as he said, Ukenberg. I usually, I usually call him Shishi Woman. Anyway. Come on, Top Racer, improve. You can do it. Ah, oh, two seconds slower. Come on. Uh, apparently, Javi is small. Time penalty, nothing, uh, nothing big. Lead. <laughs> Incredible. Eight minutes for uh, zero was his outlap. And he's on his way to do that as a new PB. I'm pretty sure that uh, in the 12th hour uh, endurance race we did here, when was this? Um, December 2020 or early 2021? Uh, Heli was the quickest and he did uh, an 803 high, I think. Let's see, maybe uh, Winsley is able to get bit of slipstream um, yeah no sure. I think yeah you ma you math are correct he's saving two pit stops so about uh, 90 seconds um, the problem is he's tire saving and he's fuel saving a lot and his pace isn't uh, as it's not there. He's losing so much time to go uh, to do seven laps that I don't think it's worth it. And here is one angry Kevin, I, I think. He was on way to improve and do a new personal best. And he missed it by 26 thousandths of a second. And I think he lost at least three four tens in the last few corners there it's that's disappointing for sure for him oh it's impressive just impressive Winsley already in the second sector 
and uh, Yavi is now entering Dottinger Höhe. Uh, second? No. Only emotional. And yeah, we should burn a penalty, and he does so. Uh, just in, uh, maybe not just in time. Yeah, just give you a feeling about how big the gap is between one and two. Javi has now entered the Grand Prix circuit, and here we have Winsley doing the last two corners and going onto the Nordschleife. We see Bosworth, nice drift, a nice slide on the wall, uh, moving into the pit lane. He did 10 laps and he probably has to do 13 uh, more laps, so five laps, four laps, four laps would be uh, the strategy I think he's going for. He's uh, 42 ahead of Umar, so he should uh, be ahead of him by six seconds. Umar had a very uh, slow last lap with 9 minute 9, obviously he went into the pits but it was a bit more timeless than I would have thought. I thought it would have been uh, 6 seconds ahead but it turns out to be way, way closer. Bosworth just managed to stay ahead and hold on to that 3rd position and I'm sorry for that. Nothing I can do, just jumps around. And 11 seconds by with uh, being racing with uh, V-Live. Eight fifteen was the last lap, and here in eight fourteen, so not much in between those two. And I'm uh, really c close to uh, to Bosworth, but I wonder if he's going to get a chance for an overtake, or if he does, if he's trying to seize it. Again, I think most drivers are pretty uh, even on, on the GP circuit and the Nordsch life is really separating um, drivers. Let's see what Group 4 is doing, Eddie. P6, 26 head of Tornado. Tornado finally doing better despite having damage. He's continuing uh, despite that and um, yeah, making up ground. The aim has to be to beat Eddie in uh, a higher class car, but as soon as I said it, uh, yeah. Engine damage will make this uh, doing a lot more difficult now. Seven minutes behind the leader. Uh, it's going to lose a bit of time. He's probably going to be lapped uh, in lap or two. And that brings me to we've done uh, one hour 30 of racing. We are about to meet halfway point of this stint.
<laughs> Stop being a wingman for Barry. Yeah, Barry likes uh, likes in direct approach. You know, um, not flirting. A Barry wants directly. Barry's not shy. Brief moment, really intense, and uh, then Barry lets go. No hard feelings. And it hurts. Visiting Barry hurts, but we do it every time. Can't get rid of Barry, apparently. For a bit of change, uh, let's check here. Sector 1. Javi was quicker. Kevin, what are you doing? That's how the field is currently uh, on track. We see uh, a lot around uh, Bergwerk, uh, four cars. And the rest has um, spread out evenly. I thought Oma uh, Oma would have lost contact to to Arix in front of him, but apparently he has other ideas. Following him really close, being a second behind him uh, for the whole lap. Properly enjoy enjoys the drive, but it takes a lot of talent to stay close to car in these conditions. The night is challenging. Uh, obviously, it is dark, and you see less of the track. You have uh, a car uh, really close in front of you, so this car is blocking uh, some of your your vision. Uh, you have uh, your lights shining onto the car and it's reflecting and makes uh, seeing even more difficult. Uh, you have dust coming up and it's, it's really hard to see uh, through the dust. It's, it's high in the air. Let's see uh, who has to stop when. Bunsley just started lap 12 and he has to pit at the end of this lap. The gap's uh, 1 minute 32. Uh, we can do the same thing we did last lap. Javi and now on the Grand Prix course. And Bunsley is leaving the Grand Prix course. Yavi is going for at least two more laps, probably three. Ah, two laps, two laps. Here we have Bosworth with a time penalty, which is an unpleasant thing for him right now because of the time penalty, he has to uh, slow down and lose third place when is he slowing down too late and on the racing line that's not how it's supposed to be
Anyway, Umar got back his third place. And uh, Bosworth has to fight for it again. Looking for a move. The inside wasn't completely close, but he's going for the outside. Bit of movement in braking zone from the BMW. Boswell hangs around the outside, tight line through turn two, late on the throttle, but he's got the position. Was hard defended, not unfair, but a bit of a movement in uh, the braking zone. I think surprised, at least me. Uh, uh, hi, Halli, grüß dich. Wie du sehen kannst, 805, 804, 804, Boxenstopp 805, 809, da war vielleicht eine Überrundung oder eine Zeitstrafe drin, 803 war eine Outlap, 806, also läuft. Kevin läuft wie ein Uhrwerk, spult ja eine Runde nach der anderen ab und äh, führt um die Länge äh, des Grand Prix Kurses äh, Vorsprung an. Und muss auch diese Runde an die Box. Deadline also in the pit lane. Yeah, fortunate for him, another engine damage. Quick recovery and now it can continue. Yeah, it was a bit glücklich, in Anführungszeichen, but Kevin had a. Who was? Runde 10, seine eigene Bestzeit um ein paar Hundertstel nicht geschlagen, weil er überrunden musste. Und da hat er bestimmt 3, 4, 10 verloren, also. Um, Eine mittige 4 wäre auf jeden Fall gegangen. So, crash tastic. Closing in uh, in front. Uh, tornado had to pit due to engine problems and has damage as well. Top racer closing the gap to Eddie because Eddie pitted uh, last lap and the gap still 30. Six seconds, so um, unfortunately for RSC, they're going to lose a lot of time. Because Eddie is going to stop once more, and so does Top Racer. So, and Top Racer has to save fuel, and tires doing so, so the gap is only going to increase that will cost a lot but uh, it's great uh, for PPL after being last in uh, the first stint in group for uh, getting back uh, in, in great fashion leading the class at the moment and doing good work for the overall standings BN Racing in 5th position. Unfortunately not able to to fight with anyone really. Behind them is, uh, is Eddie. Obviously in the lower class. Uh, we have Tornado in 8th uh, as the last placed uh, group with the free cup. But um, yeah, P4 and P3 are battling not quite quite there this is definitely uh, the closest battle we have at the moment Omar had the lead uh, but Bosworth uh, with a great maneuver around the outside in turn one got that position back I think uh, Bosworth with better pace, but 
uh, more likely to do a mistake. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Umar uh, didn't do a mistake in uh, stint 3 so far. Or maybe one, uh, because lap 4 was quite slow one with 9 minutes 14. Only allowed himself, I think, one mistake in the first stint as well. Bunsley is pitting, I think uh, we can stay here in this battle because Bunsley, as you can see on the map, uh, there's one probably, yeah, there must have been a group 4 ahead of him and uh, one group 4 car approaching the start finish line, but he's going to come out in clean air and uh, unchallenged for the lead. Was worth a small mistake. The famous YouTube corner. Bit more than a curb is not something we, we want to be. A catch a car. Lost a bit of time, but nothing critical. Important is not to allow uh, Omar to get back into the slipstream range, which he is kind of doing right now. The gap was above two seconds now. It's one second. The magic number are uh, 750 uh, thousands of a second, so Omar is closing in on this number and if he manages to do that he's going to get slipstream and another poor exit here out of uh, the small carousel means that Omar is back and we maybe see another change position here for third place one hour 40 into the race to the stint I should say we already got uh, six hours behind us 270 75 280 and just hitting 280 immediately uh, losing uh, speed when hitting the wind again and now we're going back to Bosworth view last time he lost his, the position on Döttinger here but managed to get it back here on the start finish straight he's looking for a slipstream Uma uh, closed the inside door not completely in my opinion Bosworth is looking for the outside once more. And yeah, textbook style. If the other driver is covering the inside, I'm just going the long way around the outside, which turns into the inside and blocking the apex. Not in an unfair manner, by any means there was anything but unfair, but in a... Uh, in, uh, uh, yeah, bestimmt in a uh, serious manner. Great driving from both of them. We have uh, V-Life in the pit lane after 12 laps. A short break, I get something to drink, be right back.
Okay, that was pretty good. That was needed. Chat, you're still awake. Eddie's on her way to personal best. Bit, um, yeah. It's not easy. We're looking always to, to the quick cars and uh, easy to forget that the, the slower cars are fighting as as hard as the guys in the quicker cars. <laughs> Bottle of water. Ah, small mistake by Eddie. Went a bit offline and too quick into the small carousel. And that cost him a bit. Top racer is a three quarter minute behind. That's still gaining time. Uh, apparently, his PB wasn't perfect in this part of the track as well. Let's see, it's going to be a 47, at least a low 48. 47, ah, it's, no, it's even a slower time. It's a mage. Or calm, tornado with another uh, damage vehicle, crash testic. Um, probably, yeah, one more lap and then he's going to pit. And we have Javi finally pitting. He's going 10 more laps uh, in this stint. So this stop and then one more stop for him. At least I've found Rivna. Uh, let, let's see his lap times again. Didn't uh, pay attention to that. 8.54, 55, 54, 56. That looks better. Uh, before that it was more, more an up and down, even uh, 9 minute lap, time, lap times. It's still not where you want it to have. Uh, obviously uh, saving fuel and uh, tires um, is doing its thing but the pace uh, definitely has increased yeah thanks for mentioning that and it's doing a uh, good job uh, both of your group 4 teams bit of a shame that the uh, group 3 car um, yeah has not met uh, the pace standards. Javi left the pit lane. Here we have Boswell. What happened to Uma? Uma has damage. That happened to him. A bit unfortunate for us because uh, that uh, stops the battle for P3 for now. But uh, if one door closes, another one opens. Uh, it's going to be somewhat close to P5 now, so we could have a battle here. 
top eight pits of the Siemens S comfy. Yeah, uh, he's doing two of them. <laughs> But, to be fair, uh, his tires were still good after 7 laps. 7 laps of uh, 25 uh, kilometers are 175 kilometers, if my math is correct. So basically, uh, something Pirelli could never do. Let's see... There, where uh, Uma is coming out. Just ahead, we see the braking lights. Couple of seconds ahead. <laughs> At granny speed. <laughs> oh no, not again, come on. Is there a way to get a, a voice uh, message to to top? You're driving like a grandma. I don't know. Get creative. I th I think you get something funny. Why is my cursor on? Thank you. Cursor disappeared. I don't know, write him something funny. I don't want to get too much into dark humor, but, but something like, um, I, I know you're on, on German territory and you're French, but you must not be afraid. Yeah. Fantastic. What is he doing? Nine minute flat, nine minute one, eight fifty. Enough is it? Oh, I'm getting bad. Am I not? <laughs> Finally, we reached a level that uh, is working with with this time of day. Yeah, no, sure, um to be honest, Crash Tastic has good chances to beat your Group 3 car. Only a minute behind. If he uh, keeps his nose clean. I saw the stream element uh, message and only the knock knock part. And I thought it was it was this. Um, I probably can't say it without getting bad. This, uh, you know what, a group uh, of mean people in Germany uh, joke. Knock knock. Who's there? We will ask the questions. <laughs> Top loves render jokes. I mean, country, you as a Swiss person uh, can make really fun of that. You're never involved, you're neutral. Me, on the other hand, I have to be careful what I say. I, f I feel like very careful. Uh, country, by the way, uh, the person who wrote that uh, wants to be mod uh, for our Twitch. Honestly, uh, 
I suppose people are boring, so I said it. I'm afraid I'm getting now yelled at uh, somewhere in Switzerland from Confrey, uh, from his uh, father and his brother. <laughs> that, that's what I wanted to say, Confi. Uh, Confi right now cries in money. <laughs> that was a good one. No, sure that was a good one. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm coming back. Needed that though. Okay, uh, let's update. Bunsley. Almost two minutes ahead. I totally not missed that he was uh, going for the fast lap, and we finally have an eight minute of three point nine. Oh no! No, 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 no. Javi with a big mistake. Uh, Kleines carousel, the little carousel again. Uh, hit at the inside, so probably too early on the throttle. Uh, lost the rear and drifted into the inside wall. And this is the first lap after he pitted. This is his out lap, so that's not a great moment to have something like that. Uh, it's not going this. Uh, this thing is not going Eric's way, apparently. Javi has to pit. Four laps. And then another four, I think. Yeah, it's going to pit. This will uh, will put a Bosworth. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is going to put Bosworth into second place, but Bosworth has, has damaged himself. Um, fortunately for him, uh, somewhat fits with his uh, schedule for pitting again so it's somewhat in line with his strategy I'm not yeah 12 12 liters left uh, I think there was no way he was going for one more lap af after this um, here we have Omar and P4 and a, yeah he's too far behind this no way he can benefit yeah we now 223 behind look Bunsley here that's a Fuchs girl coming up Adenauer Force that's it's basically where it feels like we're, we're at the end of the beginning of the Nordschleife and, and entering the middle part and Yarvi uh, is still on the GP circuit here we have uh, Bosworth Now 3.11 behind. Oof. And suddenly, Ömer, after doing a mistake earlier, is now finally back and can compete for a P3. 13 seconds the difference. One hour to race. It's not over. And uh, in P5, not too far off, we have a V Live. And we'll come back to that fight soon. Just checking what Group 4 is doing. Eddie, 50 seconds ahead of a top racer. Last laps, 8.50 and uh, 8.48. And uh, Tornado, again with damage, is holding up a uh, top racer, it seems. Yeah is holding up top racer who did 8 minutes 54s and 55s finally uh, seems has found rhythm but yeah 
Was ist halt ab? Uh, Confi, uh, stop it, please. Those kind uh, of jokes um, in German we would say sind unter der Gürtellinie. Crash testing, bit more behind, pitted, and uh, deadline. Uh, unfortunately, again with an engine penalty. We go back to see this battle. Uh, I think that's a nice camera view. Live less than two seconds behind and is chasing Umar from uh, PPL. Yeah, yeah, neutral. <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> exactly, you got it. Bit of tire uh, squeeing. Umar is extending the lead ever so slightly. We love it's not driving bad by any means. Uh, already is feeling the tire wear a bit. I think uh, Ulma has fresher tires by a lap. And now force early on shuttle again using the curb to his advantage. It's, it's great driving. And he found a tenth, almost two tenths uh, in this part of the Metzger's felt. Got it a bit wrong, you do not want to touch that inside curb. Double apex again. Uh, losing a bit out of the corner now, gaining a bit. It's a bit back and forth. Hit, miss it. Really an early apex. Yeah. It takes long for him to get back on the front, losing immediately two turns. Bears Eifen slows part of track, stays in second gear. Acceleration is tricky here. I think uh, that's bright side here. Ex Mühle um, didn't accelerate it as good as Irma did. It's a really tricky corner because it's really strongly uphill. Uh, Backwerk here. Both very important corners because it's straight. Uh, one medium long and uh, this one is a very long uh, flat out uh, section top speeds 245 maybe yeah uh, maybe not that easy to see but it's all up uphill mood cover down a gear lifting and then try to be uh, as soon as possible back on throttle this corner flat or just a very short lift hang on for this one the carousel is coming up nice to see from this perspective you really can see the banking up to hohe 8 uh, and he's gaining time again 1.5 1 1.6 uh, yeah top is uh, due to pit yeah no definitely he is now to pit definitely
That's uh, Galgenkopf, the corner before the long straight Döttinger Höhe. I don't know how he lost control of the car, but didn't damage anything. Uh, someone is behind him. Luckily, uh, he did not. Yeah, it's Javi. Did not uh, got in the way of any other driver. Uh, probably bump could be. Two hundred forty-five, a bit slower than he used to, so maybe uh, already in different fuel mixture. Uh, I think it just works for him that he doesn't have to let him go. Not the best line, accelerate now. Yeah, it works out for him. And after <laughs> two hours seven minutes, uh, top racer has found a way into the pit lane once more. Uh, let's see where is Eddie. Eddie's probably at the beginning of uh, the Nordschleife when Top Racer has left the pit lane. Really like the helmet of Top Racer implementing the Union Jack uh, really nicely. And uh, back on track, already getting blue flags. And that's one of the Porsches. Oh, it was a bit close, but worked out in the end. Must have been Bosworth. Um, What's happening here? Um, nothing really. Omar uh, managed to hold the gap uh, since we less left off. So 45 seconds, so minute uh, 52, if I'm not mistaken, is the gap between Eddie and Top Racer, so uh, let's say two minutes. Let's go back to Winsley. Um, he treated himself with a slow lap after that. Only 8 minutes 5, 6. Uh, let's go back uh, to Eddie. I'm pretty sure he's going to pit at the end of this lap. That means at the end of uh, lap 15 he has 6 laps to go. I think uh, fuel-wise it could be possible for him to do that, but if you look at his uh, tires, mm, uh, it will be challenging to do uh, six laps. A bit touched the grass there. I think he should go for uh, two stops with doing uh, three laps each. Maybe it's a bit slower, but you have a better car, better tires, and you, you've already driven for more than two hours. Your concentration uh, is ba probably not in, in the best state right now because you focus for such a long time. Um, because of the weather, you have to focus even more, and uh, you have driven so well and. If you use a strategy which is, let's say, 10, 15 seconds slower, whatever, most important thing is to 
bring the car home in one piece um, rather than doing a strategy which could be quicker but uh, is risky and uh, after that get some sleep uh, rest and attack uh, for the second stint again yeah a bit of Maybe he's doing six laps and then it works out, but if he's doing two stints uh, with three laps each, it was a bit of a, a weird placement. Should have maybe uh, shortened another stint and split it up in a different way. I don't know. Tornado, unfortunately, with more damage has some driver behind who could that be Winsley has to pit at the end of this lap um, he's going to do 23 laps so he has seven laps to do so one uh, stint with four laps, probably this is going to the end of lap 20 and then uh, to, to the end of lap 23, three lap stints. See Javi with a personal best. I'm not sure what his personal best uh, is. His last lap time is shown to be an 808, but this was uh, the out lap. Almost done. Almost up to go, and um, Bunsley is back on track. I oh, got a bit close to the white line there. Difficult to see, but I assume it was okay. How come? What do you think? Uh, will he, where will he end? There's no way he is not doing uh, as many laps as Harley because the pace is uh, the same. I can't see that he's doing 24 though. Do you, th do you saying uh, are you saying it's going to be 22? or closer to 24. Six more laps, so... Um, yeah, he would finish within the remaining time. Uh, lap 22 and should start with I don't know two minutes three minutes uh, t lap 23 I'm pretty sure it was the same scenario in stint one with Harley okay you have you doing the math I am trusting you I'm close to commentating uh, what eight hours now and I'm really don't can't be bothered with math right now I'm sorry <laughs> I trust you Bunsley definitely has to do uh, one more stop he cannot do, uh, cannot go to the end. 
doesn't matter how many laps there are, he can't go to the end. His, uh, his uh, fuel um, usage uh, allows him for four laps. Otherwise, he would have to save a lot more. I think. Um, He is preparing himself for the scenario, what if I have to do one more lap, so he's doing one more stop, uh, so is Yavi. We have Bosworth in uh, third position. Omar had 20 seconds behind, was not able to catch up. Be live. <laughs> Let's see who's right in the end. Yeah, Nushal, uh, be my guest. Uh, if you want, calculate uh, the remaining time, lap times, and uh, when uh, Bunsli should finish this 20 second lap within or after the time limit. If you like. So let's uh, show the grid once more. We have deadline. Yeah, far down in the uh, tenth position. Not the quickest, but holding on and driving uh, this car home, bringing it home, and. Uh, that's not easy when you have no one to drive. Drive against is really on his own, driving against himself. Crash Tastic is more than five minutes ahead. He, uh, as well, doesn't really have anyone to battle. Top racer, a minute 16 in front. Okay, Nusha says uh, he would f finish lap 22 with five minutes left. So that means he would, uh, would be able to finish lap 23. So, uh... Different opinion uh, to Confis. Let's see. Again, I have to uh, enable uh, predictions some somehow. I I'm not sure if we have it. Then we could uh, start prediction prediction and uh, put our um, um, fallen, um our available uh, channel points. Uh, at risk. That's uh, what this channel needs. Gambling. Uh, I mean, what? Top racer. Oh, personal best. Uh, more than four tens. It took him a while, but he got uh, better and better and better, and I think is has finally achieved uh, an acceptable uh, time. Um, difficult to really judge what his what his pace is like because uh, with this strategy uh, he, he has to lose time on a single lap to because of saving fuel and a bit of tires. But we all know from previous races, or if you follow RSC, that top racer is a quick guy. And uh, I can't see uh, that he is a second uh, down every minute uh, race here, that he loses this much time. Getting blue flags at the moment. 
definitely not for tornado tornado is half a minute ahead of top and unfortunately not great slap times uh, they were mid to high uh, lap times in the in the 830s uh, yeah that's unfortunately just way too slow Eddie driving great stint don't any big mistake lap times uh, are good um, just have to keep the focus up for the fast last final laps then with a big gap 744 so uh, V-Life is about to lap um, Eddie the leader of of the group fours uh, in about a lap two at most which is definitely in the time uh, when we we still have I, th I think we can uh, agree on that Omar uh, was was in contention for a third place finish but then had a mistake um, heavy damage and an unscheduled pit stop I have to stop one more time and he's gaining on uh, Boswell Boswell must yeah Boswell had had an accident and a bit of damage right now and this that wasn't really on track that makes everything um, yeah, open again who's going to take third position one scheduled pit stop, one uh, forced uh, pit stop is coming up. With repairs, the gap is coming down. Ah, oh, come on. Focus, focus, Bosworth. That costs another four or five seconds, maybe. The gap is coming down more and more. Uh, let's see, it was 14. Uh, only three seconds okay not that bad let's see Winsley already on Nordschleife and Arex uh, through the Yokohama S was it? it used to be Castrol S I think and now it's Yokohama S through the first two corners and here we can see P3 and P4 in one shot and Bosworth into the pit lane and uh, Boomer has to follow doesn't make any sense to stay out for one more lap in my opinion because of the tire wear but Omar has a different opinion about that so definitely uh, people can enjoy being in the top three for this lap but I think uh, he's going to lose that and it's not going, going to uh, get that position back I think it would have been better to stop, stop now and use the fresh rubber instead of driving a very well not a very but driving a slow wear lap time now be live um, not close enough to benefit from the pit stop of Bosworth 15 seconds behind that's going to be close with uh, Uma when uh, when the BMW is going to pit in about eight minutes well I think uh, that the BNR will stay in fifth position that's not going to be enough except he can make a really strong lap and 
uh, almost BMW is suffering from tire wear and is now able to produce a decent lap time. Let's look at the gap, it's 27 seconds at the moment. In the background was the Group 3 of RC, which was uh, lapped, so not a direct uh, competitor fighting for position. And the gap is coming down 26 seconds already, so within um, less than a minute, Bosworth was able to get uh, a second out of Wilmer, and this will continue over the lap. And when when they're going to to pit Omer, um I think it's definitely going to lose that third place over the pit stops. And as uh, P5 is managing uh, to do the same uh, pace as both were, I think Omar is going to lose uh, fourth place as well to P5 uh, to be in racing. Eddie, let's compare 50 and another 50, 100, so let's say uh, 1 minute 35 out of top racer. Top racer with a 8 minute 50, 3, 9. Uh, apparently he did a lap time that was even quicker than that. but. This definitely was his quickest lap time for a very long time. Flags for a uh, tornado that must have been P5. Yes, that's a uh, V Live 19. Who's going to lap P7? Well done. Move to side, fair play. Oh no, come on! Bosworth with another small damage. I was wondering why is the gap going down? It was about 16 seconds, now it's uh, 10 seconds. Another 5 6 penalty uh, penalties, uh, seconds lost because of that, and it's going to be 2 3 seconds even more than that, easily. And if Bosworth pits, which I think he has to do, and with Omar having to pit once more, if uh, V Life doesn't decide to pit, if if he uh, is going to do one lap less than anyone else, 
I think he has too too little fuel for that. If he could go for the end, I think uh, second place would be in it for him, but I can't see how he's going to finish uh, four more laps. I don't think uh, for him are, are five laps, laps possible anyway, uh, but four more laps with 66% uh, uh, two-thirds of his uh, fuel capacity. I don't see uh, see this happening. I mean, you could by uh, changing the fuel mixture from one to what five, six, and then you're not doing uh, eight minutes, uh, fourteen, fifteen, but eight minutes, thirties, thirty-fives. Uh, it's just not worth it. Anyway, we have uh, Javi in the pit lane, and uh, Winsley is going to pit at the end of this lap, and then going to the end. Uh, when we reach that in six minutes, then we have uh, 22 minutes, and we are at the beginning of, of lap 20. Omer about to pit. Bothworth 35 behind right now and uh, only 5 ahead of the next driver. We will see them in one shot I assume now. Yeah, now clearly visible. Our gap has come down. Omar pitted. Hey Kazi, thank you for your follow. I hope you enjoyed the race. As you probably know, this is a 24 hour race and uh, we're not even halfway through. <laughs> Omar in the pit lane, I think that uh, BN Racing here with uh, V Live has a good opportunity to jump him. It's going to be close, I think he's going to accelerate now, changing. Yep, there he was. On the brakes, it's going to be close. Having the inside line is important. Now the acceleration and it just worked out. Uh, Omar just lost out here. But it's a question if we look here, it's just a bit more than half of fuel. And here uh, in, on the BMW, it's more than three quarter. Oh, hi, thank you. Didn't see you there for a second. As it stands, uh, Eddie dominating this stint in Group 4. He is 1 minute 16 ahead of uh, Tornado, which is a Group 3 car. And then 25, so uh, more than 1.5 minutes out of Top Racer. And now we see the, uh, the gap displayed, it's 1 minute 42. Top Racer, uh, second in class. Then we have Crash Testic, which uh, is uh, two minutes behind. Top racer, a bit more than that. And then we have Deadline. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, the pace isn't quite there. Um, there, there were lap times where he drove below 9 minutes, uh, but mostly wasn't able to do so and now has uh, two drivers behind him. hope they can uh, get past him easily, moving not aside. Oh, this is not pleasant for uh, Omar. Lee Live 
has a chance now to get that position back. We missed that uh, that Omar retook that position. Uh, ZenQ, are you driving in Sin 4? Let's drive on board once more. Ah, oh, come on. I don't know why this happens. Come on! Ah. Uh, why? Why? I don't know if it's about because of the controller or, or because of the game. Yeah, it must have been game because it's it's always happening when I try to go into cockpit cam. Let's have this camera angle then. Ah, oh, overshot the corner by a bit. At least stayed on track. Oh, oh no, no, oh, fuck. Yeah, I think that's it with any podium dreams for uh, V-Life. Went a bit too hot into that corner. And uh, yes, as you know, the braking is a uh, corner. Couldn't accel uh, the accelerate brake uh, in time. Yeah, I think someone is really pissed. I just driving. No! Oh, this must have been really scary. Who was this? Uh, Bosworth. This must, must have been really scary for him. Yeah, that was really a big one. It wasn't probably like half a second or a second at best that he was too late on a break, and that's the difference. Uh, if you can make the corner or you cannot make the corner and uh, the walls barrier is never far away here and yeah that completely um, destroyed any hopes it could have been a second place definitely a third place and no I don't see how he can recover in yeah, 20 minutes from that fifth place. Good news for Umar is that there is also damage for uh, Boswell, so uh, the time Boswell uh, can do the lap times are limited as well. And if we look at his last lap time. Lap 16 was the last lap he uh, completed uh, normally. Lap 17 he went into the pits, lap 18 he went into the pits and uh, I assume in lap 19 he has to, to visit the pits as well and this is just too much. Three uh, pit, stop, pit stops uh, in a row because of damage is too much. I think uh, it, it's just that drivers are done it, it's been so stressing uh, stressful it's a long race uh, it's in the night yeah and Irma has got that podium spot uh, brought him on a silver tablet all he needs to do is uh, don't mess it up. We have uh, Javi 230 behind. 
128 of Ulmer, so should be safe in that position. And Bunsley. <laughs> top. Hammer time. Uh, let's see where, where Top Racer is. One, uh, 146, 47 behind Eddie. So if he magically is able to do, I don't know, maybe um, a seven minute lap time uh, out of the blue in a group four car. So basically a lap time you wouldn't achieve in a group two car. Maybe in a group one. Uh, then uh, then he's there, then he can uh, beat Eddie. For now, um, he's driving alongside Tornado. Twenty minutes to go. They're not driving side by side through there. Okay. Okay. Um, I wouldn't have wanted to do that. Uh, shot in warning indicator. Uh, probably saying thank you for letting me go there. I assume that they are in, a, in the same party and that, uh, that they talk about that, but pff, still risky. Uh, Nushal says Eddie will reach lap 21. Pit again. Yeah. Yeah. Top is not going to pit again. No way. Finally, uh, V-Life has made it into the pit lane. Oh, it's been a 10 minute lap time. I mean, uh, one mistake and if he's like, the way the, he, he didn't really try to, to break, uh, it was uh, more out of rage, throwing the car a second time uh, into the wall and uh, Resulting in into having uh, having to spin a car in the right the right way, he lost two minutes. This lap alone. <sighs> that hurts. Oh come on! I think Bosworth is really done. He's really done another mistake, or did he? No, he. It's the same uh, damage from before. Just decided not to pit. He's just living with the damage. Just continue. Just treat it like my mental health. Just live with the damage. So let's see. Winsley is at the end of lap 20 and he will cross the line with 14 minutes to go. That means he will finish lap uh, 21 with 6 minutes to go and uh, will be shy by 2 minutes to finish lap uh, 22 then. So comfy was right. 
right? But how come that Winsley's shy uh, by two minutes to reach uh, the 23rd lap and Harley did it that easily because Winsley didn't drove any worse. There was some traffic in the first lap, but a second, but it didn't cost him uh, that much. Or maybe, no, it can't be track con uh, conditions uh, leading to changes. I don't know. Tell you something, I'm really glad this is over after eight hours of commentating. I think I deserve a break. I think I earned that. Umar. Feels like cruising home into third place. I'm curious uh, where uh, PayPal is standing after this uh, stint, making uh, up a bit time uh, of one of the Ericsson's teams and making lots of time uh, up against uh, BNR. BNR obviously a bit handicapped because of disconnect in the first stint. They lost a lot of time then. Yeah, you're a madman, Confi. Um, I'm really glad that you agreed to stream, but uh, I would be absolutely okay if you say, okay, start the stream, tell your dad or your brother or so uh, to, uh, to do the, the camera work and have a silent stream, no commentator and get some effing sleep because uh, I just uh, sat here and uh, spoke all the time until uh, I can feel my throat already but you uh, did race for three hours as well which I'm a bit jealous of to be fair but uh, I think I had the easier part Zombie Racer 3. Uh, zombie User 3, sorry. Everything under control for Winsley. Are we just starting this lap? And Omer is bringing P3 home. It's going to be uh, 22 laps for him as well. Crossing the line with uh, about 10 minutes left. Is the timing correct? He's already at 8 minutes. It was. Oh no, it's, it's going to be. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was a bit confused, but is, the time is correct. I refuse something something is glitched there must be glitch in the game I refuse to accept yeah. Yeah, but but he's right Honestly, blue flags are waved so yeah there's one group four uh, difficult to see which car the uh, PPL car and the RC cars I uh, have some similar similarities with using uh, white and red. So not that easy to dis distinguish the both cars at first glance.
Yeah, let's see. Uh, he's going to need three more minutes. So he's six minutes. Yeah, and you said five. Yeah, it's pretty much a minute. Yeah. Good guess. Okay, and what do we learn about this? Kevin is simply too slow, not even 20, 23 laps. I'm disappointed. Shall we uh, a small time LD? No big deal. Um, uh, extending uh, the gap. Obviously because of the uh, damage here. Bosworth. I think it was uh, the PPL car of Eddie. Who got uh, lapped. Be life. Yeah, uh, unfortunate, really unfortunate uh, that his race ended this way. Eddie, as we said, great drive. One minute fifty ahead of top racer between them is Tornado, which is in group three. Top racer two minutes ahead of Crashtastic and six minutes difference between P9 and uh, Tanya, really unfortunate. But I'm I'm glad that every of the drivers uh, went through the three hours and drove until the end. Predicted uh, by initial were five minutes and it's going to be six minutes and 20 something seconds. Uh, 27, so you were off by one minute and 27 seconds. Uh, let's see what top racer is doing. Top racer is doing what a top racer is usually doing. Saving fuel. Not pitting. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine for him. Uh, yeah, eight. When the timer hits zero, he's about eight minutes into his lap, so uh, he's more than 50 seconds clear to finish the race within lap 20, not having to worry about any fuel saving, if my math is correct. I'm pretty sure that Deadline wishes uh, that this is his last lap, no matter what the timer says down there. We have uh, Protestic, who's just started his lap, so definitely on his last lap. <laughs> he finally found the accelerator. <laughs> Great award, yeah. Least amount of tires used. Probably uh, Top Racer thought uh, somewhere here was a, a 30 zone uh, for environmental reasons, obviously. And he was just uh, looking out for the environment. 
and I'm going slower there. Eddie, oh come on man. Two hours, 55 minutes, no problem, no damage. And uh, so close before the end, uh, he allows him himself one mistake and that sucks because uh, it's going to affect this lap and uh, as he should, yeah, he's going to make it to the next lap, uh, affects the following lap as well. You remember uh, Grand Turismo 4 where they had uh, the uh, Carl Benz original uh, first automobile which was, I don't know, doing 5 kilometers an hour downhill. That, that's the car to use. I think there's a video uh, on YouTube where someone uh, is doing a lap uh, around the, the Notch Life with, with that car and is having real troubles to uh, to do that because uh, the car is not made to do any uh, steep uh, surfaces. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they had to do circles and go back and forth. And I think it's a three hour long video or even a six hour. I don't know. It's, it's multiple hours. Definitely for one lap. It's uh, a bit funny. Really stupid mostly, but also funny. Uh, Winsley is losing concentration as well as seems. Small time penalty. And a mistake! And a mistake. And gladly, uh, no damage for him. I don't know how that happened, that this wasn't any damage. Like, not even uh, front uh, bumper damage. Okay. I don't know. Um, maybe this could be even funny. Uh, a race with a car that can't do anything, but it has to be a proper track. Like uh, a go-kart track with, I don't know, 200 meters length or something like that. Which... It Basically, is completely flat. It doesn't, it cannot have any elevation changes. That would be the death. I mean, we're doing a three-hour uh, stint race here on the Nurburgring, so I guess we're somewhat into torturing ourselves. But I'm not into that much torture, I have to say. And I guess, uh, happy uh, new day, happy Sunday for uh, most of us as it's hitting uh, midnight right now. Eddie's right here, finishing the line with 50 seconds to go. So my math was correct. Said 50 seconds and it's been 50 seconds. Ha! Take that, Confi. Take that. Uh, hello, Paul. I have no idea who you are, but hello. Okay, uh, time is running out, and I'm looking who's closest to the finish line. Could be a uh, Vilay. Yeah, it's definitely, after that, he definitely is not going to cross the line one more time. Nice drift, though. Uh, timer perfectly runs out now, and uh, he finished. I don't know if this was on, purf on purpose or not to, to spare himself doing one more lap. Yep. Eddie's doing uh, another lap with damage. 
tornado is finishing. And who else is finishing? It's Deadline. Nice. So, who's the next driver? Top Racer is now finally done. Thank you for blinking up. You've done it. A three hour race with only two pit stops. Um, crash testing. No. Who's going to finish earlier? It's our leader, Winsley. Burn the penalty. Ah, uh, yeah, that's going to lose time. That hurts. After a three minute lead, what a stint. And only doing 22 laps. I don't understand where the difference was between uh, this stint and uh, Harley's stint. Anyways, GG's. That was some really great racing. The next driver across the line is going to be Crash Tastic. Ah, unfortunately, he has engine damage. Come on, controller, don't F up. Engine uh, damage. And it's going to cruise with uh, pretty much exactly 200 uh, kilometers, probably, uh, on a dirt and oil. It's going to be. Oh, come on! Why is this happening? Why? Come on. Uh, crash testing. Here we are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why it's f up, but it is. Yeah, he's finally done it. P9 for crash testing. And who's finishing next? It's P2. Javi. Um, managed to pick up some uh, damage as well this lap. Or lap before. If we look at the lap time, most probably in lap 20. It was not a good lap time, 24. And therefore, uh, by the damage, lap 21 and now lap 22 are affected as well. is great um, I think uh, Rx can't be happy uh, with results though because uh, there were a lot of unnecessarily uh, damages uh, that they picked up um, especially uh, Bosworth Yavi had at its moments as well and three minutes uh, loss is really hard to catch up Let's see what I can do in the next stints. And uh, Yavi over the line. Omer now coming onto Dörtinger. Definitely wasn't expecting him to see, see him in uh, third place. But uh, I think one error 
big error he had uh, was was the only thing that happened to him in those three hours and with uh, Bosworth happen uh, multiple mistakes and Eli one extremely big mistake which cost him a lot of lot of t a lot of time uh, yeah uh, yeah put the door open for him for for his third place. GG's Congratulations and you've done it Now we're waiting for uh, Alex and Eddie Yeah, Eddie is going to make it uh, make the lap as well Bit close to, to the uh, remaining time that's uh, ticking down after the race uh, timer already finished, but he's going to make it. <laughs> okay, hi Paul. Sorry, I didn't remember all the names. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Confi... No, Confi is hosting this lobby. He, he can't host the next lobby. Uh, I'm not sure who is the next lobby host, to be honest. I know it, it's uh, it's in GT um, race organization, so I think the lobby should be open. Anyway, Bosworth with fourth place. I think can't be fully happy with that. But again, it's easy to to judge. Okay, thank you. It's easy to judge uh, when just commentating and, and watching. Uh, especially these conditions are really difficult to drive. And uh, please remember that I changed the video settings to basically brighten up everything uh, so you could see uh, properly. Otherwise, if anything would be just black and you couldn't see anything. And that's more closer to what the driver sees, so... Um, yeah. Great job from everyone for finishing this. And that's the result of Stint 3 in. And also uh, GG's to those who did that stint without getting any single, single uh, penalty. Uh, as Confi wrote in chat, uh, Rx Java will host the next stint. Uh, I will save the replay. Ta-da! And uh, Confuser is taking over the stream. Uh, like an absolute madman, he, he uh, drove the first and commentated the second. Uh, watched along uh, distant as he uh, hosted the lobby. And it's going to do the stream and commentate another stand. Uh, thank you for watching so far, and uh, I hope you enjoy the next stream. And um, I will be here for uh, stand seven. I assume I will be here for stand six because uh, Confi will be uh, zombie Confi, absolutely dead. And can't uh, can't do this. <laughs> it's a mad program. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for participating in the stream, and uh, I'll catch you later today. Bye.